You know, Vortex, I've realized that anybody that isn't familiar with this channel, anybody that isn't familiar with the way that I talk and my life experience and all that, they're probably gonna assume that I'm like bad shit crazy. And on some level, they're totally right. But at least I know it. <laughs> so many people are crazy and they take out all their problems on you or whoever's around, whoever they can conveniently lash out at. And they don't seem to recognize that they do this and they don't care. And if you try to tell them that they're emotionally manipulative or inappropriately taking things out on other people, if you try to tell them that, you know, they probably won't be able to take that criticism. Now, I really do think that everybody is like somewhat of a narcissist now because of social media. Social media really brought that out. It just proves that like people wanted to be horrible. People wanted to be monsters. Now I can't let the bad people in the world make me forget that there are good people in the world, okay? That's another thing the devil wants. I need to like write down a long ass list of things that the devil wants and then try not to do any of those things. <laughs> Because, <laughs> like, yeah, I'm pretty sure that it absolutely delights him with some crazy bitch like me that tries to see the good in the world no matter what starts crying because people are... Look at that. See, that's some good, that's some good stuff in the world. It's a beer truck, y'all. I just wanted to show you. There is good in the world. <laughs> but no, I mean, I, I do, I do like internalize a lot of things. Like I take in a lot of the world's turmoil. So whenever I'm around people that I get a really, really bad vibe from, it just, oh, it gets to me so much. Because I'm on a much, higher level of consciousness than most people and as arrogant as that sounds look you're just gonna have to accept the fact that equality is stupid we're not equal we're not like not in regards to like our consciousness okay we might all be equal like when we're born we do not stay equal okay and our actions They either raise us up or they drag us down, okay? And the way of the world is not conducive to this equality crap. It's just not. And that's why the people that push it keep pushing it. Because I think on some level they know that. But they can make so much money selling this idea that this world could, could be made better. I, like, honestly, I don't... I don't think anybody wants to make this world better. But I ain't gonna stop though, I'll tell you that. I ain't gonna stop doing whatever I possibly can to make this world a better place, okay? Y'all can laugh at my efforts, but this is one of them, okay? Phone life is preferable. How do you know though? How do you know? This is a man in my head, if you're not familiar. It's not a demon, I promise. It's just like an extension of my 
sparkling personality. That's why I'm logical, because he exists in my head. Um, no, but you, yeah, you don't, uh, you don't know if smartphone life. You can only assume that smartphone life is not preferable based off of everything that you see on a regular basis. <laughs> right. Yeah, this isn't cool. This isn't cool. It's like, whenever I see people doing that, I'm like, wow, that, that's a dead person right there. That's a person that doesn't believe in God. <laughs> That's a person that doesn't have self-awareness because if I saw myself doing this every day, I'd just slip my wrists in a bathtub. <laughs> Maybe they don't have a razor or something. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> they just don't know. They forgot. They forgot how to kill themselves. That's what it is. Well, I am convinced that women don't know how to kill themselves. <laughs> women don't know how to make a decision. The reason why you have way more men that commit suicide is because men know how to make decisions. It's the same thing with mass shooters, which is so funny, like, that this recent mass shooter was, like, trans. <laughs> because, yeah, females don't do shit like that. So it figures that a female that thought that she was a man would do that. Sorry, I'm not trying to make light out of that horrible situation, but at the same time, like, nobody really cares about it. I don't care what anybody has to say. They'll never talk about the elephant in the room. They'll never talk about it because they're addicted to that elephant, okay? I mean, here's the thing, though. If I relied on a piece of technology to do everything, and I was constantly staring at that piece of technology so that I could pretend that my mother aborted me. If I had a piece of technology on my person at all times that was constantly altering my brain chemistry, and I was dependent on it for brain food, as I call dopamine, so if I'm dependent on this technology for brain food, if I'm dependent on this technology for entertainment, I'm dependent on this technology for the fake communication that I do on a regular basis. If I'm dependent on this technology for this false idea of like, what's going on in the world. I probably strongly disagree with somebody like yours truly that's going, yeah, get rid of that. Get rid of that technology, it's bad. <laughs> that technology is satanic. I'd probably look at that girl like she's a total looney tune. Now, there are plenty of people that can totally admit that they're addicted to their phone or, you know, they need it. They need it for all these things. You put yourself in this position, honey. I guess maybe that's, that really is the difference though between like me and everybody else is that like, I just bend over backwards to like avoid things that I don't like. Like, I'm not going to that gas station again. That gas station where I had to deal with that piece of shit, I'm not going to that gas station again. Like, when I had to deal with that, that trans person that was obviously possessed, like, I haven't gone back to Whole Foods. Like, I won't... I won't go back to Whole Foods, but, like, I know that he's working. Like, I just... I won't do it. Because, like, I'm not going to, like, deal with stuff like that. Because you have no idea, like, like how unhinged a person is. Like, you really don't until they do something crazy. And I really don't want to be in that situation. <laughs>